Have you ever fallen in love with a man's potential? Maybe you're with that man right now, your husband or your boyfriend. That is not a good idea because what you're saying is, um, I, I love him, but I'm going to love him more when he becomes this other way. And most of the time they don't. So for starters, we should just accept the guy for how he is. If he isn't any meeting all of your standards, he's the wrong guy. So maybe you're with somebody and there you are and you did marry him because of his potential and it's not happening. Well, think about this. How would you like it if you found out that he married you because of your potential? See, men pretty much, they kind of fall in love with how you are right then and there. They don't fall in love with your potential. They don't want to turn you into something other than what you are. Yes, there are the occasional men who want you to go get a boob job and, you know, whatever, and lose 20 pounds and become, you know, the supermodel. But mostly, unless they're controllers, which there's those, they just love you the way you are. The way they fell in love with you, that's the way you, they want you to stay. But when you try to change him, then what you're telling him is, you're not okay the way you are. And how do you think that's going to make him feel? Even, no matter how subtly you might be going about that. He is not, as John Gray says, a home improvement project. He's your husband or your boyfriend. This is the man you say you love. The man you wanted to live with and share a life with. So if you will just start seeing who he is, and then letting him know that he's great the way he is, then he, this is what's great about this, is he'll start becoming more of the man you want him to be. It's very strange, but that's how it works. The more you accept how he is right there and let him know that and appreciate those qualities about him that you, that you like, or maybe he's got some bad habits that you really rather he didn't have, um, if they came about after you got together, that's one thing. That's where you use the technique where you tell him, I've got this problem and I really need your help on how to solve it. You know that one. Well, that's where you can get him to change back to the man that you married or got involved with. But if he was that way when you married him or got involved with him, that's the way he is. And you need to look for the things that you like about him. But you can catch him doing something great. Maybe he just leaves his dishes everywhere. He never puts them in the, in the sink. But one time he does. And you can go, God, that is so great. That makes me feel so great that you did that. However you say it, you know, it depends on your guy. But, you know, it makes me feel appreciated that you were willing to do that. Thank you. And he's like, oh, okay. And, you know, kind of like a kid, you, you teach them good habits by praising those good habits, even though they may not show up that often. But, you know, this takes a little bit of art and you can develop it, but it works. This is how you get a guy to change, is to inspire him to want to change for you. Inspire him to be the man that you look up to. He needs that, he wants that, and you have the power to do that. So that's what all these videos and my books and Feminine Great, all these things that I teach are you know, helping you be able to do that, to inspire him to be the man you want him to be. That's how you get him to change.